Hi folks, welcome back to Math with Captain Rod. I'm making this video here to uh, provide an example of how to uh, graph a system of inequalities. So, got a pair of them here we're going to look at. X minus Y greater than or equal to 4, X plus Y less than or equal to 6. What we're looking for is the set of all coordinates, X and Y's, that satisfy both of these. So what you do is you take them one at a time. Let's start with this. And what you do is just imagine now, just ignore the uh, greater than part, just pretend like it's an equal sign for a minute. And what we're gonna do is plot x minus y equals four. Now that's a linear function. There's a couple ways to plot it. Probably the simplest is uh, to get the intercepts. If you put zero in for x and solve for y, it's gonna read negative y equals four. And you solve that for y, you, would, you get y equals negative four. So zero, one, two, three, four, there's um, x-intercept for this equation. <clears throat> then put 0 in for y, solve for x. And if you put 0 in for y, this is going to read x uh, equals 4. So we know it goes through 4, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 0. Connect the dots. Now, here's where you start paying attention to the inequality stuff. Because the actual one here does actually have uh, equality here, you connect these with a solid line as opposed to a dashed line. Now we have to decide whether or not values over here continue to solve this or over here. You just pick, uh, typically pick a test point, like 0, 0 is a nice easy one. If you put zero here, minus zero, greater than or equal to four, right? this ends up reading zero greater than or equal to four. And this is a false statement. That means that this is not the side that gets shaded. This side is. So I'm gonna shade that maybe like so. All right. So what this means is any ordered pair that's over here, like this one, should satisfy this. This one should satisfy this and so forth. All right now, let's take a look at this one. <clears throat> x plus y less than or equal to six. Again, just for a moment, pretend it's equals for the graphing part. If you put zero in for x, you're gonna get six out for y. So zero and then one, two, three, four, five, six. If you put zero in for y, you're gonna get six out for x. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, linear functions, so now we're going to connect the dots. And again, taking note, this actually says equality, so we're going to use a solid line. There we go. Had this said strictly less than, you would put a dashed line. All right, next step is to decide which side of this line, up and right or lower left, also uh, continues to satisfy the inequality. Notice that if you put 0, 0 in, and again, I'm just picking a nice easy point, 0 plus 0 is less than or equal to 6. That's a true statement, which means the side that we're going to want to shade is lower left. I'm going to shade it kind of in this direction. All right, so the region where both of them are shaded is this stuff. So that's the solution region for this pair of inequalities. Any point that's in here somewhere, like this one right here, one, two, three, and minus two, that should solve both of these. So I hope that this uh, helps. hope it gives you a reasonable example of how to uh, sketch a pair of inequalities and find the solutions. Have a great day.